Hi everyone. We're here in the Screencastify dashboard. We're going to look at how you can record directly into WeVideo for your lessons, including screen sharing. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to create a new video. Okay. I'm going to click on create new. Um, I'm going to choose its destination. I'm going to want this to go into, um, yeah, I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to start editing. And what you'll notice straight away is you've got audio, video, and video. So you've got two video tracks and an audio track. And we've got the option here for stock media, my media, text, audio, transitions, and backgrounds. So really, really useful. And up here where I'm hiding, you've also got your preview. Okay? So I'm just going to move that over here for a second. So to record directly into um, Wii Video, you might want to have a little bit of a... Uh, an intro in there. So one of the things you could do is, for example, is search the stock media to see what's already there. Okay. So you might choose, for example, um, something like a world map or a breaking news. But let's go with breaking news. And we just drag that down into here. Then we might decide that we also want some audio for that. So I'm just going to choose an audio news music and drag that down as well. Okay, and I'm going to make that the same length just by dragging it. Move that along. Make that the same length. There we go. Oh, it is only four seconds long, that's why. Um, let's get rid of that one. So I've just dragged in my animation. I'm also going to choose some news. So let's go with late night news music. Okay. And then I'm going to want a bit of a transition in here. And I want it to go slightly quieter. So I'm going to bring the noise level down of the music. Um, and probably drop it out quite quickly. So I might take it to here and then just snip that. And bring that part of the music back later on. Okay. So what I need to do now to record my screen or myself is just place where I want to record from. Go to My Media, and you can see I've got the option here to record or narrate. So I can do a voiceover or I can record. So I'm going to record. I've got a choice of webcam screen or screen and webcam. I'm going to do webcam first. And we just click Next. I choose my camera. So I can have a green screen if I want. Uh, and that will give me the option to put something behind it later on. So I might well do that. Uh, and let's go for it. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the breaking news. We've got some big news for you guys. So big, it's massive. And just stop there. Okay, now that's obviously a really poor example of what we might be. But here's my green screen. And what I would need to do is move that to track two because I want to put something else underneath it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my stock media and I'm going to choose news background or news room actually. Let's see if we've got a news room background. Um, and instead of being all, I'm going to do video. Um, so we've got news control room, we've got a virtual set of pillars, live news coverage. Let's go with that one. I'm going to drop that in there. Okay, and what we will see then is if I take this one, double click, come to the green screen app here, select my color to pick, and drop that out and save my changes. What we've now got is this. Hi everyone, welcome to the breaking news. We've got some big news for you guys. So big, it's massive. Now what we can see there is the sound slightly out, and that's actually because I'm recording a recording here. So normally that's not a problem, but you can move things around if they are, if they are a little bit out and just tie these up um, correctly. But it is purely because I'm recording me doing a recording, so we've got two lots of audio going, okay? But really, really straightforward. I can then put in another transition if I wanted to. 
So I could choose something like a, a cube, drop that in, and then I might choose to record something else. This time, it might be my screen. So again, I'll come to record. I might choose screen and webcam. I'm gonna choose, I'm not gonna have my snap camera this time. I'm gonna use my usual FaceTime. Here we go. We're gonna record this screen. We're getting ready, we're counting in. I'm just gonna bring this up here and explain to people that here's the breaking news. And here we've got the BBC website and this is really important information. Um, and here is where we go for our UK information. So pretty straightforward, not too difficult to deal with at all. And then I can just stop sharing when I'm done, okay? So I'll take that back. I've got my preview here. Here's my webcam, here's my screen. So they appear as two separate tracks. I'm gonna save those. That's gonna then import the two. And we can see that we've got the two tracks running alongside each other. I'm just gonna bring this up here and explain to people that here's the breaking news. And here we've got the BBC website and this is really important information. Um, and here is where we go for our UK information. So pretty straight. And you can see here that in the video, the thumbnail is a little bit in the way. So if we double click on that, we can see I've got my thumbnail here. There it is. Move that out of the way. So let's look at the, there we go. I've got my thumbnail. I can now move that if I want to, to somewhere else. I can resize it so it's in an input, uh, uh, it's in a, a reasonable part of the screen. So I might decide to move it down to the bottom right, for example. And then I just click Save Changes, and now when we start playing, we'll this see really that that's now moved to the bottom. Um, and here is where we go for a UK information. So pretty straightforward, not too difficult to deal with at all. And then I can just okay. And then when we're happy with our video, so pretty straightforward. Not too, we can just stop there. We might decide to have some finishing music or not, but all we need to do is to click finish. We give it a title, news. We have a choice of how we want to export it and the thumbnail and whether we want it to go to our Google Drive or not. We can just click on there and then we just click export and it starts to capture it. And once again, it sends it immediately to your Google Drive. Um, as soon as it's ready. But the good thing about Wii Video is we can shut this window now and it doesn't matter because it's going to process in the background. Okay? So that's how we record using Wii Video, including using a green screen.